Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome to Emuna's Learning Point. In the previous video, I have explained you about the basics of the automata theory. And in this video, I am continuing the next topics of the automata theory. And the first topic I am going to explain is the finite automata. The term automata is derived from the Greek word, which means self-acting. An automata with finite number of states is called as finite automata or state missions. So, this finite automata is a mathematical model of system with certain input. The model finally gives a certain output. This finite automata is the collection of five tuples. The five tuples are nothing but Q means number of finite states we are considering in the particular automata. And uh, this sigma is nothing but input. And this delta is nothing but mapping function or the transition function. Q0 is initial state and F is the final state. We have already discussed that an alphabet can be represented using the sigma and it is nothing but the input for that particular finite automata. Now we are going into the representation of the finite automata. Finite automata can be represented in the two forms. First one is the transition diagram and the second one is the transition table. Coming to the transition diagram, it is the collection of the finite states. The finite states are Firstly, we are going to deal with this symbol and this symbol is arrow mark with circle which is called as the initial states. And the next one is a circle which is an intermediate stage. And a circle within the circle represents the final stage in a finite automata. And after that, the transition function can be represented using the arrow mark. The input signals can be given like this 0, 1 or A, B, C. And epsilon is the length of the string with 0, 0 as the length of the string. And A comma B, here A comma B means nothing but all the positive possible strings including the epsilon. And the next one we are going to discuss is how to write the five things or five things we have learned above. Q means number of finite states. And also the next one is five tuples we have learned above. Q means finite number of states. Sig uh, uh, sigma means input. Delta means mapping function or the transition function. Q naught means initial state. And F means final state. Those five tuples we are going to explain using an example here. Here Q means nothing but Q0, Q1, Q2, which means we have already discussed it. Q means number of finite states. So the number of finite states here are Q0, Q1, Q2 or the finite states. And the next one is sigma. Sigma is nothing but the input alphabet. The input alphabet here is 0 and 1. And the next one is Q0. Q0 is nothing but the initial state. And the next one are the transition functions. The transition functions will go like this. Delta of Q0, 0, which is the given input. We will get another transition function called as Q1. And that one we are writing here as Q0, delta of Q0, 0 equal to Q1. And the next transition function is Q delta of Q1 comma 1 equal to Q2. Here we can observe that Q1 is transitioned through the input 1 to give the output Q2 and the Q2 will be the final stage of that particular finite automata. In this way, the initial stage will be Q0 and the final stage will be Q2 and the transitions function can be represented like this. In this way, we have to define the various five tuples in the given finite automata. And the next one is the transition table. 
we have to do the tabular representation of the finite automata and the tabular representation of the finite automata is called a transition table the tabular representation of the transition function for the above transition diagram can be like this here given that the states are input in the first column and the inputs we have given for that particular finite automata in the another other infinite columns for example we have the initial state as the q node here we can observe in the diag diagram that q node is the initial state and it uh, have given the particular input as zero and after the transition we will get an another output uh, thing called as the q1 so q not as the transition uh, input is zero we will get another state called as q1 whereas we do not have any transitions for the input one so we will run, we will not write any states here while taking the q1 we do not have any transitions for the input zero so we do not write anything here while considering the q1 for the for the input one there will be a transition and the transition is nothing but the final state q2 hence we are going to write the q2 state here in this way we have to construct the transition table for the given finite automata the construction of the transition table is very easy when we concentrate one time on one particular problem let us see another problem for the particular building of a transition table considering the three finite states a b c here q means nothing but finite states a b c and also sigma the inputs we are going to use are 0 and 1 and the initial state is going to be a and also the final state is going to be c and the transition functions are like this delta of a comma 0 gives the state called b delta of a comma 0 gives the state called b and the delta of b comma 0 gives the state called c and when we consider delta of c comma 0 we will get we are getting the state called a so we can see the path here if we see the give the input for the state c we are getting the output as a so delta of c comma 0 is a and if we consider delta of a comma 1 we are getting the output called c and hence we are writing the transition function as delta of a comma 1 equal to c and if we consider b delta of b comma 1 here we are giving the self state so we are giving the input to that particular state as a self so when we give that self it will have that output as b only so delta of b comma 1 equal to b and delta of c comma 1 here also we are giving the self for that particular state when we give the self input for that particular state we will get the same output as that particular uh, uh, state only so we will get uh, the state as c in this way we are getting the various uh, transition functions and after that we are going to uh, construct the transition table like this in the first column we will always have the states or inputs and in the second column we are going to have the various inputs we are going to give the give to that particular finite automata and they are nothing but zero and one in this particular finite automata when we give the particular zero as the input for the a then we are getting the state b and hence we are writing the b here and if we consider a and uh, input one we are getting the output as c here we can observe here that when we give the a as if one as the input for the state a we are getting the c as the state so c e we will write the c here and if we consider b if we give the input zero for that particular b state we will get the state c and hence we are going to write c here and if we give the one as input for that particular b state we are getting the self and the self state will be b and if we consider c if we are going to give the input as zero for that particular state c then we are getting the 
state as A. We can see here if we give the output zero here, we are getting the particular uh, state as A, and hence we are going to represent. Uh, we are going to write the A here, and after that the last one, but not the least. Uh, if we give the input as one. It is getting the self state and hence the value, uh, the state will be C. In this way, we are going to construct our particular transition table. And after this transition table, we are going to know how to construct a transition diagram or the finite automata diagram uh, by using this particular transition table. So here we now we are going to understand how to construct the transition diagram for that particular from that particular transition table. Now let us see how it is going to be possible. We all know that the states or input will be in the first column, and in the next column there will be various uh, inputs we are going to give. So in this way. We are having that particular states or inputs. And also, we are having the inputs as A, B, and also C. They have given that for the Q, Q0 will be the initial state and Q3 will be the final state. For the Q0, if we give the input as A, we are getting the state Q1. Through this trans transition table, we can draw a conclusion that from the if we give the input A to the Q0, we will get the output Q1. And hence we are writing that part, we are drawing that particular representation. If we give A to the particular Q0, then we will get Q1 as the state. And if we give B to the particular Q0, we will get Q2. B to the particular Q0, we will get B2. And next, if we B, B to the particular Q0, we will get Q2 as the state. And if we give C as the input to the Q0, then we will get Q3, which is the final state. If we get, if we give a as the input to the Q1, we will get Q0 as the state. So we are writing like this. If we give input Q A to the Q1, we will get Q0. In this way, we have to write, we have to draw the transition diagram by using this particular transition table for all the other states. If we draw for the all the other states, we will get this particular transition diagram. So now I am stopping this for a while. You can take this screenshot and you can practice this particular problem to be perfect in this particular topic. So after this, please take the screenshot of this particular answer also so that you can practice. Okay, done. Now, Let's go into the other topic. These are the various problems we have to do to convert that particular transition table into the particular transition diagrams. This is the another problem. And this, is, this will be the another problem. And the next topic is types of finite automata. What are the various types of finite automata present in this automata theory? The various types of finite automata are DFA and NFA. DFA means nothing but deterministic finite automata. Deterministic finite automata. Deterministic finite. automata. What is the deterministic finite automata? If there is only one path for a specific input from the current state to the next, next state, 
then it is called as the deterministic finite automata. All the symbols of the given alphabet must be present at each and every state. All the symbols of the given alphabet must be present at the each and every state. For example, let us look at, at the, this particular example. If we consider here, we can see that Q0 have the inputs B as well as A to the Q2. But there is no other way to for that particular inputs B and A to reach to the Q2. There is only one way you can observe. There is only one way from Q0 to Q2 and it is Q0 to Q2. And if we can, we can also observe that from Q1 to Q2, there is only one way for that input, particular input A. And also from Q2 to Q2 also, there is only one way for that particular input A and B. And we can also see that for the Q1 to Q1, for that particular input B, there is also only one state. You can thoroughly understand when I explain you about the topic non-deterministic finite automata. So let's move on to the next topic. And here, here is the clear explanation I have given. From the state Q0 for input A and B, there is only one path going to the Q2. Similarly, from Q1, there is only one path for the input A and B to go to Q0 and Q1. And also, it is the collection of the tuples Q comma, sigma comma, delta comma, Q0 comma, final state, where Q is the number of finite states, sigma is the input alphabet, delta is the transition state, and also Q0 is the initial state, F is the final state. And you can observe here how they have constructed uh, the particular transition table for this uh, given transition diagram and also how they have given the five tuples for that particular transition table and the transition diagram. These are the various finite automata for which the five tuples are written clearly. Now, we are going to know how to construct a DFA which accepts the string only zero over the given alphabet zero comma one. Here, the DFA have to accept the string only zero one. Zero one, it have to accept the string string 0, 1. We all know that string is nothing but the collection of the symbols. Here it is the collection of the symbols 0 and 1 and they also given that the inputs we have to give must be the 0, 1. And here the language is going to be L equal to 0, 1. Now let us see how we are going to construct a deterministic finite automata which accept the string only 0 and 1. We have the initial state Q0. From the Q0 to Q1, we are having 0. And from the Q1 to Q2, we are having 1. So from the initial state to final state, if we consider the string like this, it have to give the 0, 1 only. While reaching from the initial state to the final states through various, state, various uh, states in between, we have to get the string 0, 1 only. So let us check how to build this particular deterministic finite automata. And we should also know that there should be only one way for that particular input to become a deterministic finite automata. Q0 to Q1, it will be 0. And Q1 to Q2, it will be 1. So it have success, we have successfully constructed like this for accepting 0, 1 as the string. And if we consider, we can also, in order to make this as the deterministic finite automata, 
we have also another condition that at each and every state there should be all the inputs given in that particular alphabet there should be all the inputs given in that particular alphabet if we see here there is only zero for that particular q node and there is only one for that particular q1 and for the q2 there are no inputs given for the transition and hence we are going to consider another state called qd which is the destination or qd state in through this state we can successfully construct the dfa by giving the remaining inputs for example here q not have uh, the zero as the input only and hence we are also giving one as the input to that particular qd and for the q1 there is only one as the input and hence we are also giving zero as the input and for the q2 there are no inputs given hence we are going to give 0 comma 1 as the inputs and for the qd also there must be both the inputs to be given and hence we are going to give self as 0 comma 1 to that particular state in this way we are going to build the particular dfa for the given string and you all try to construct the DFA that accepts the string only zero and also construct a DFA that accepts one only string. And next topic, and in the next topic, we are going to know about the non-deterministic finite automata. What is meant by the non-deterministic finite automata? If there are two or more parts for a specific input from the current state is called a non-deterministic finite automata. It is, the, it is also the collection of five tuples. In the five tuples are Q, which means the number of finite states, and sigma, which means the input alphabet, and delta, which is a transition function, and Q0, which is the initial state, and F is going to be the final state. So let us consider this particular transition diagram in order to construct the particular transition table. And let us go into deep in, the, in this particular topic. They have given that the input alphabet must be 0, 1. And here, the initial, all the finite states will be Q0, Q1, and Q2. And the input alphabets are going to be 0, 1. And the initial state is Q0, and the final state is Q2. And the transitions are like this. Delta of Q0, 0 equal to, there are two parts for that particular input 0. Whereas in the finite automata, in the deterministic finite automata, there is only one, there, sh there should be only one path from that particular state to another state. Whereas for this particular Q0, there are two paths from that particular state. Hence, this is called as the non-deterministic finite automata. In the deterministic finite automata, here should there should be only one path from that particular, for that particular input from one state to another state. This is the main difference between the deterministic finite automata and the non-deterministic finite automata. This is another example for that particular non-deterministic finite automata. If you want to observe this, you can take a screenshot and you can uh, construct a transition table and you can know what this non-deterministic finite automata is. And by now I have completed what the non what a finite automata means, what an automata means, and also what a fi no deterministic finite automata means, what are the various tuples present in the particular deterministic finite automata 
and also uh, i have uh, learned you about the non deterministic finite automata and what are the various uh, uh, tuples present in that particular non deterministic finite automata so by now i am ending this video and in the next next class i am going to explain you the other topics of this automata theory please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you very much and bye bye